I'm Stephanie and I'm here to show you some tips and tricks on pleasurable dining. Uh, before you begin, you want to look at your physical environment, make sure it's free of clutter. Um, you also want to make your table setting look a little inviting. Um, you could have one of two ways. You could have it a full table setting with a a tablecloth and a centerpiece or you could have it just pretty basic with um, just the table setting um, either or is fine it all depends on your loved one um, sometimes a full table setting could be too distracting whereas a basic table setting cannot be uh, inviting enough so it's all about how your loved one um, can focus during a meal Sometimes with tablecloths, you have to look out for your loved one if they are they like to grab th at things or pull. Maybe a tablecloth isn't the best option, and having just a basic uh, table setting would be best for your loved one. Okay, so once you've uh, looked at your physical environment, you want to look at the physical placement of your loved one. I have Sandy here. She is in a wheelchair, and she's kind of slumped over to her right side. Uh, what I have at home are pillows or rolled up blankets and I could just kind of put them right in between the chair and Sandy and make ensure that she's propped upright in the chair to allow for proper digestion. You also wanna make sure that Sandy is not too far away from the table or too close because we want to encourage her to feed herself during the meal. So we want to have her just right, close enough to the table so she could pick up her own utensils and feed herself. You wanna sit with your loved one during the meal. Meal times are social times. It also reminds the caregiver to sit and relax and take their time during the meal. I always wanna start with a beverage first. Um, this also promotes digestions, get the uh, digestive juices flowing. Um, so another thing is that you wanna get a nosy cup. Um, it helps with assisting a loved one. It, uh, a lot of times the no their nose could get in the way. So if you don't have access to these special nosy cups, you can make one yourself. You just kind of cut a styrofoam cup or a plastic cup and then boom, you have a nosy cup. Um, before you start serving your um, the meal to your loved one, you could get a nice clothing protector. They could be purchased at, say, Shoppers Home Health. You could use a dishcloth or a fun t-shirt that they may uh, once enjoyed and they have a nice little stain on it. Um, but it's always good to protect their clothing before you start the meal. Um, caregivers should also sit with their loved one during mealtime. It's a good time for um, you to test the temperature this, of the food and that small action can also cue your loved one to mimic you and feed themselves independently during the meal. Um, so just testing it. And most times that will would be enough um, for your loved one, especially when it's something that they enjoy and they'll start eating it. Um, but if you ever had to feed your loved one, you probably want to start with a little bit on the tip of the spoon and just kind of tapping at the bottom. And this rooting reflex naturally gets the, everybody to open their mouth. Um, and then that's when you could start feeding them. When you start to assist with the meal, you want to start with a little bit on the tip of the spoon just to see if whatever you're serving them, they're going to enjoy. You want to tap them on the bottom lip and this will cue them to open their mouth. It's just a natural rooting reflex that we all have. Ensure they swallow each mouthful before providing another bite. Look for signs of pocketing. Pocketing is when the food is pushed to the side of the mouth and food is stored in the cheek. This could cause choking. To continue on with what Stephanie was saying earlier about pleasurable dining, I want to talk a little bit more. Um, every meal can be different from day to day. From lunchtime to dinner, your loved one could feel completely different. It depends on how 
they're feeling at that time. If a person is tired or in pain, they're not going to want to eat. Try to be flexible. You might just need to adjust your meal time some days according to how your loved one is feeling at the time. If your loved one is in pain and they need the medication, you might need to wait until the medication takes effect before you serve the meal. Um, playing some nice relaxing music or putting on their favorite TV show might help get them more engaged at meal times. Try to stay engaged in conversation with them as much as you can. Tell them, tell the person how much you are enjoying your meal and ask them if they like it. The caregiver can also put a sandwich in their loved one's hand or a burger, whatever finger food they have. Put it in their hand and encourage them to take a bite. You can also show them by taking a bite of your own. But by putting it in their hand and getting them to take it on their own, that's encouraging their independence. And we want to do that as long as possible. The caregiver can also encourage by giving the person the first spoonful to taste and then put the spoon in their hand and let them do the feeding. This may encourage the person to start eating. Try to serve foods that your loved one really enjoys. Also try not to put too large of a serving on the plate. This can look very overwhelming and turn the person off of eating that meal. Give smaller portions at a time and just keep giving more as needed. If it is a day your loved one doesn't want to eat, try giving drinks. Drinks that could be used as a meal replacement. Chocolate boosts could be used cold or warmed up and served as hot chocolate. Tomato soup can be put in a cup and used as a drink. Um, V8 drinks are very good. They're very high in vitamins with vegetables and fruit. And smoothies are very popular today. So you can make them a smoothie or a milkshake. The milkshake can be made with a protein drink like Boost added to it. That's also a very good meal replacement. Just try and sit, relax, and enjoy the meal with your loved one. Don't rush. Remember, it's time for both of you to just sit and enjoy each other's company.